Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's go see what's in the fridge. Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is the first one out of the great big box that Matt sent me, the second beer package, beer mail package he sent me. Uh, this one is Surly Hell Lager. And uh, guys, what this is, this is a Keller beer, or a, uh, I guess it's Zwickel beer, Z-W-I-C-K-E-L beer. And uh, what that is, a Keller beer, it is a rather old, rare, and unique German beer style. Keller beers are unfiltered and unpasteurized lager that date back to at least the Middle Ages. The beer is matured, unbunged beer, which is exposed in, exposed in deep vaults. The final product is a smooth, naturally cloudy beer that's rich in vitamins from the yeast. The hot bitterness can be high and alcohol will vary. And as a Wickle beer, or the Wickle, is similar to a Keller, but not as pronounced. Uh, so, with that being said, guys, uh, up to their website, they're saying this is a 4.5% ABV beer. Uh, I don't see it written on the can here, so I'll take that for what it's worth there. Very light, easy drinking. Uh, the IBUs on this one is 20, guys. So, uh, uh, year-round availability according to what they have here. And it says, uh, finally, this is from their website. This says, finally, a syrup of beer German mother will drink. She says, this one tastes of like a beer from back home. Not unlike a Zwickel beer from Germany. Hell is non-filtered and fermented with lager yeast. American hops takes a backseat to this Pilsner malt sweetness and fresh bread aroma. Uh, the color is light and it is uh, fiendishly drinkable and you don't have to sell you sold to get another. So, uh, the, uh, the beer here on Beer Advocate has 5.10 ABV and I wish they had it on the can here but I do not see it on here telling you what it is. Uh, Canned on 10 to 20, 10.23.12. So, uh, October 23rd is when this was canned. Pretty damn fresh. You don't get much fresher than that unless you're standing at the end of the line there. When it comes off of the canning line. Uh, the food products of this cuisine is German. The uh, beer is not recommended for extended salarings. And the glassware, the mug, the stein, the side dale. I got the Pilsner glass. That's what I usually use for the Pilsner's guys. So, that being said, let's pop the top on this bad boy. And Matt, thanks again, brother, for sending this second beer package to me. Awesome beer box. Must cost a fortune to send a box that big. And I do appreciate you sending them to me. And we'll get you a package back out as soon as I make a beer run or two. There we go, guys. Got it all into the glass. Good finger of head there on top of a good looking glass of beer there, guys. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Very yellow. Not super yellow. It's a little darker than I anticipated being. Uh, so for an unfiltered beer, it's very clear. It's not cloudy at all, really. Look at that, guys. It's not cloudy. And I poured it all in there. Nothing in the can. It's all gone. Get a nose on it. See what it smells like. Very typical of what a lager is supposed to smell like. I'm getting a, just a hint of floral hops there, mostly grassy. Just with a little bit of citrus, uh, lemony. <sighs> Very typical of what a uh, Pilsner slash uh, lager, now uh, a Keller beer. It's going to be a very light, easy drinking, very sessionable beer. Smells very, very uh, typical for the style, guys. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Thanks, Matt.
a nice amount of malt in there with that too. Not enough to make it super sweet. Nice balance of hops. There is some hops there. The more of the uh, the subdued hops, like the spicy hops. Uh, maybe some German hops are in there, guys. It says American. I don't know what hops he used. He did not say. Typical line more beer, as I call these guys, uh, on a hot day. And it's warm out there today. It's another 65 degree day out there today. So, uh, very nice. Uh, very pleasant beer. Very easy drinking. Although these beers are not my style anymore, uh, I'm more into the heavier ales and stouts and stuff, but I don't find anything unpleasant. Uh, I'm not getting the alcohol, any of the alcohol taste. So. It could be very sessionable, very easy drinking. Very nice product. Got the date on the bottom of the can. Yeah, if I was into the lagers, instead of drinking the, the Bud Miller Coors guys, I'd definitely be sipping on this. And if you're up there around uh, the the uh, area where this is produced. I'll definitely give it a try, like I said. These, are, these guys out of Minnesota, I think is where they're from. Uh, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. So, uh, and I don't I think the distribution is very big. Uh, he sent me uh, just about everything he sent in the box was, uh, was his early beers, again, except for one. So, uh, we're going to we're going to expedite them, like I said, and uh, and uh, do some of them. He sent me some of those furious, and those beers were awesome. And from what I've seen on a couple of these other ones, they come with real high marks too, guys. So uh, these guys up there are doing a good job of what the beers they're making. So this is pretty tasty. Look at the lacing; it's, it's leaving on the glass there. Very nice for a uh, for a lager, guys. It tastes pretty good too. Not bad for the first beer of the day, guys. I'm going to let the other half taste it, see what she thinks. Stick around. I'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this one. But not blowing my hair back with socks off, but I believe it's a decent beer, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very typical lawnmower beer. Very nice on a hot summer day. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much, guys. Final chug. Very nice finish. Uh, floral. A little grassy, but that's what you expect with this type of beer, guys. It's a very, very nice beer. Uh, if you can get this, uh, pick it up, give it a try, especially if you like a lighter lager. Uh, guys, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight, which is an A minus. It's got all the information other than the ABV, which they put that on the can. Uh, I don't see that. It, it may change. That's why they don't have it on here. Uh, last year's batch might be a little different, a little different ABV. So. The, as long as I got the date on there, I'll look up the ABV when I do the review. So it's really not that important to me, but I, it does need to be on there. So uh, along with the date, guys, we could get to the ABV on there. So you know whether if you're out drinking, you can have one or or, or what, what the deal is there, guys. So uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty decent beer. I'm going to stick with the 8, the 8 minus. Uh, Rate Beer has this at 90 overall and 100 in the style. And Beer Avid comes up with the 88, which is in their good range. So uh I think it's just a little better than good, but I may be maybe a little biased since uh, Matt sent this to me. Uh, it, 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 I think it's a decent beer. I mean, I didn't have any unpleasant aftertaste. So for a, a lager, I didn't get that corn and and and, and uh, that uh, artificial taste that I get from the Bud Miller Coors group there, guys. So uh, give me some comments back on this one, guys. Let me know what you think of it if you've had it, and as always hit the like button if you like it. And let's look in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.